Tufts Institute for Human-Animal Interaction will help every facility to be able to have very safe and effective visitation from all parties' perspectives. The program here has really grown over the years. We will go into the room and I'll introduce Albert. Albert's got a few tricks up his sleeve. He does those and we usually just chat for a while. It takes their mind off of what's about to happen. It just brightens people's day, even if it's just for a minute. The Institute has been instrumental in helping facilities to start to encourage animal assisted therapeutic applications of visitation. Collaboration was, was fabulous. The partnership was great. They were the experts and they could explain to the medical team that this was safe. It was beneficial. They could see that the visit was really embraced by the patients, by the families, by even the staff. Pet assisted therapy programs can provide different areas of risk. The program that we use is one of the more rigorous ones. The therapy animals need to be taught to not only be tolerant, but again to be welcoming. Handlers are trained very, very thoroughly and are mentored and supported to make sure that they recognize when their animals are stressed. I had no idea how labor intensive it was for those that volunteer to bring their pets in. Albert and I have been doing this for nine years. Albert has to be reevaluated every two years, to have a fecal exam done once a year, be up to date on all of his vaccines. He has to be bathed within 24 hours of visiting the hospital. Very quickly then I realized that that was the route that I wanted to take and just use the Institute program for our pet therapy and visitation. 